Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning a Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in a Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into fucking nightmares. You guys with me on that? Mosh pit. You got to end somebody's dream. You got to take their job. You got to take their heart. Are you guys clear about this NFL shit now? We're not trying to go to the Peach Bowl. We're not trying to go to the Gator Bowl or the Blue Bonnet Bowl. We're trying to go to the Super Bowl. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down, and laugh when he's conquered and won. Just win, baby. Ah! I love it. You know, I sit in my office and I just shake. I get so excited. <laughs> Raider Nation, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. We got to catch up on the news for this week. Unfortunately, we just got some bad news today. We're going to go over that. Uh, ultimately, I think we're going to be okay. But um, pretty disappointing news. Um, let's jump into it. John Gruden was asked about roster cuts. And there's going to be some difficult ones. And, you know, we knew this. We knew that our team was more competitive than it has been in the past few years, for sure. There's way more battles this year in camp than there was the last couple years. Uh, we got a ton of new young guys that are stepping up and, and really showing out. So, you know, like Gruden said, there's going to be some tough cuts. And we've seen that all through camp, man. Uh, people are being brought in and they're being shipped right out instantly. Uh, there's just not a lot of room for people to stick around on this roster this year. Defensive end Sheriff Finch is a prime example. We just signed him earlier this week and he's already on his way out the door. He wasn't the only one to go and there's going to be more to come. You know, September 5th is the deadline to make it down to 53 and we're going to see a lot of people gone. Along with Finch, we said goodbye to Jordan Roos. Uh, Nick Nelson failed a physical, so he's been waived. And Jordan Devy and Rod Smith are gone. Um, I'm surprised to see Devi cut. I thought he was a good depth piece at, oh, at offensive line for us last year. So sad to see him go, but you know, hopefully somebody else will step up in his place. And a surprise cut for me, Prince of Mukamara is gone. Um, I predicted that he was going to be a pretty big piece in our defense this year. Um, earlier in the year, I released a video predicting what our defense would look like, our starters. And I had him starting just because I didn't really know what training camp was going to look like with COVID. Um, once once training camp kicked up and, you know, we got to see these young guys play, we got to see Damon Arnett really play. I kind of figured that Arnett would be starting and Mukamara would be just a good depth piece for us, a good veteran guy um, who could rotate in and, you know, keep, keep the young guys fresh and teach them a few things. But uh, I guess I was wrong. He's gone. Uh, the move was made to make room for Raekwon McMillan, who we acquired from the Dolphins in a trade. McMillan is more of a downhill tackling backer. He's not the best in coverage, so he'll be a good contrast to the quicker pass covering backers that we have. We'll probably see him more on early downs, running situations. Um, that is, if you know he makes a roster. I think he has a good chance of making the team, and uh, he even has a chance to be, like I said, an early down backer and a contributor to this defense. Mike Mayock praised Derek Carr's leadership in a press conference, and it was really great to see. You know, so many people in the football world say that our coaching staff and our front office isn't behind Derek Carr 100%, um, you know, but we just keep getting more and more proof that they are. Derek's our quarterback. Derek is our leader. You know, our organization is behind Derek 100%. So Mayock said, I'm just really pleased with the way Derek Carr has taken over this football team. And it goes back to the offseason. It goes back to all the workouts he had with the players and the players just confirming their buy-in. And that's been awesome. I think Derek is a natural. I think he gets better every day with John Gruden in year three. That's been awesome. And I completely agree with him. And speaking about Derek Carr and our quarterback room, PFF has Marcus Mariota ranked as the number two backup in the NFL. And that's what he is, a backup. All right. That's it for this video. No more Derek Carr talk. Now, we talked about the Tyrell injury in the last news video we did. 
I predicted that it would most likely end his season, and unfortunately I was right. Um, he's going to undergo surgery, and he's going to be placed on IR. That ends his season. You know, Mike Mayock mentioned earlier this week that uh, he thinks that the Raiders can weather you know, the Tyrell Williams injury and they'll be okay. I agree. Um, I'm very, very sad to see the news that he's going to be gone all year because I think... I think our offense is just better off with him, and there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, the young guys are going to really have to step up. There's been a lot of talk about Brian Edwards. Let's see what he's got, man. I, I'm super excited for this kid. I, I hope he can step up and, and fill that role. You know, now last year, Tyrell Williams was our best receiver, but, you know, he wasn't great by any sense. You know, he showed a lot of promise in the first couple games, got hurt wasn't the same dude for the rest of the year so you know I think Brian Edwards can emulate at least that amount of success I'm also going to look for Nelson Aguilar to really step up and kind of revitalize his career here in Las Vegas the dude's got talent that's for sure uh, he had an issue with drop balls last year and kind of you know put a, a bad taste in people's mouths but this is a former first round pick a veteran guy who's had success uh, he's even won a Super Bowl so definitely definitely excited for Aguilar to step up and I think he could uh, play a really big role now that Williams has to move on to the IR now even with the Williams injury we are still deeper this year at receiver than we were last year and that's a positive that's a plus um, look for Hunter Renfro to, to continue being a big role and also Zay Jones man uh, Zay Jones okay I'm not too high on Zay Jones I just think he's an average player uh, I don't think he has anything that's necessarily electric or exciting about him. But I do respect the fact that he has been putting in the work this offseason. He's been doing everything that he can to make sure he solidifies himself a spot on this team. And, you know, you know, really just make sure and also make sure that he's the best player that he can be. A ton of respect goes out for Zay Jones for, for that reason alone. Now, I will say that obviously Zay Jones came into our system last year in the middle of the year, so, you know, he wasn't that comfortable in it. He says he's a lot more comfortable now and he's looking forward to it, so I will give him a shot here. You know, I, I don't want to knock him too hard. Um, you know, we'll see what he can do. He, he says he can play all over the field now and he feels comfortable, so we'll see what Zay Jones can do in year two. You know, he was one of the guys who was always at those offseason workouts with Derek Carr. He's been building the chemistry, so... Those are all positive things. Even though I think he's probably an average player at best, I think if you put in the work, you know, a hardworking average player can succeed in the NFL. Even Mayock is praising uh, Zay Jones, man. He's saying his, his route running has gotten better. He's quicker. And he couldn't be more proud of Nelson Aguilar and Zay Jones. And that's great news because we need those guys to step up in a major way for sure this year. This is also going to open up a chance for somebody like Rico Gafford to make the team. Um, a guy that I really like, you know, speed kills. He's still more of a project right now, but, um, you know, with, with playing time, you know, he's, he's only going to get better, hopefully. So I know we have a lot of uh, Rico Gafford fans on the channel, and, and I'm one of them, so we'll see if he can make the spot. You know, also gives, gives a chance for Aitman um, or Keelan Doss to step up. We'll see what happens with that last receiver spot. I think we're going to take six, and one spot is open now. So... We'll see what happens. That's it for the news this week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps me out a lot. Uh, we're real close to 2K, so let's get it done. Thanks a lot, Raider Nation. As always, peace out. We'll catch you next time.